Hey guys, my name is Gabe, and this is episode 19 of Let's Make Rust. So, in this episode, we're going to be um, making this kind of interact um, pop up here. So, we get some feedback. And we do try a physics um, thing where we shoot a physics object and it'll bounce, but for some reason, it's only bouncing on the y axis. We'll, I don't know, we'll fix that in the next episode. But, um, so. I wanted to say, before we actually get into the video, um, a lot of you guys have been telling me to like kind of change my name, uh, my YouTube name, so uh, I'm going to make a Twitter poll, so you can hit my Twitter right now on the annotation that's on screen right now, or you can go in the description to the Twitter poll, um, so yeah, uh, you can vote on a name, I have a few names right now, uh, one is just well we could leave it how it is now um, just Gabe Meister without the tw uh, without the 1201 and we also have um, Gabe Dev so the guy kinda you know play on with Game Dev and Gabe Dev it's kinda cool so uh, yeah if you're interested in voting uh, you can go check out the Twitter poll make sure to follow me on Twitter because I'm I wanna start to get uh, using Twitter so you can get updated when I upload a video I'll put it on the Twitter and yeah, so um, if you're into that stuff, uh, it's in the description, and stay tuned and enjoy. All right, so to get started, um, we're just going to go into our scripts folder, and here are miscellaneous, and open up our interact script. All right, so once that's open, um, we're actually going to have to enable, uh, or not enable, but we're going to have to start using our uh, UI package. So that's pretty cool. Uh, okay. We're gonna make a text component here. Um, I'll just call this interact text. So interact text, okay. And so if we, hmm, okay, I'm probably gonna have to flip these around. So this, that, okay. For the sake of this system that is going to be put in place here. Um, we're going to be uh, doing something now with layers. So over here for our objects that we could pick up, such as our food item and our Glock, we're going to have a layer here. And we're going to add a layer. And yeah, OK, so right here, I'm going to call this interact. So this is our interact layer. And we're going to apply this to our food item. Uh, especially the part with the script on it so don't do that to every child object do that just to that object only so know this object only uh, do it for the Glock so interact uh, the soda can interact and I think that's it so oh and our ammo system as well so our ammo pickup make that interact okay cool so now it'll work out so we're gonna do if hit info dot collider dot game object dot layer I think that's how it was is equal to interact. I don't know if you could actually Yeah, okay, it has to be an integer. So we're gonna have to go to our layers here and we're gonna have to oops, that's broken. Uh add layers. As you can see it's layer eight. So over here for interact instead of interact we're going to put 8 so that should work and 8 equals interact at least at the moment it does okay so if um, it happens to be that layer then our text component um, interact text dot enabled is true else if hit info dot collider dot game object dot layer is not equal to 8 okay it's not equal to 8 then I don't know why I'm doing weird things with the keyboard um, interact text that enabled is now false so we're gonna have this pop up when um, we mouse over an object that's interactable so it'll say interact um, with this object interact with that object so for now as a placeholder uh, in our UI canvas. I'm going to make, let's go in the game view so we can see it's a little easier. Uh, text. 
and I'm gonna align everything to the center and I'm gonna make it say for now E uh, interact so I'll change this to white and I give it an outline so did I remove something no I didn't okay I thought I removed something just now okay so, so E interact and we're gonna give it that outline okay so now what we're going to do is disable it and go to our player and our interact script is right here so we're gonna drag our interact text to the interact text on the script and I'm gonna now call this interact text okay cool and on our player I'm just gonna hit apply so we save all those changes and once we hit play this should work any minute now Come on. okay there we go so it does work um, it's a little broken okay that's a little weird hmm. uh, it's still on the screen but you could see that oh I see okay so when we go over it we're still ray casting onto something like this but um, when we're not ray casting it, it's still calling this in the raycast um, I died it's still calling that in the raycast uh, method here so if physics raycast so we have to think of another way to kind of do this hmm. okay I guess we could just copy this and over here is that the f yeah okay so we're gonna just do else interact text enable this false so hopefully that'll work please okay and go over here and yes it does work awesome I did not expect it to work <laughs> but it did so that's kinda cool I keep saying that a lot today kinda cool yeah okay so pick up the Glock kill this guy yeah I did lower the desktop audio so when I shoot you hopefully can still hear me because this gunshot sound is pretty loud if you want to you can actually go over here to the to the Glock right here and you can change its volume I think I did that last, yeah okay I did that to zero point it's still too loud <laughs> I don't know so yeah uh, I guess now we can instead of making it just say e pickup we're gonna make it our interact or not inter black we're gonna make it our interact key we don't have one yet we just have e so I want this to be I don't want that to be hard coded so that we can kind of change it if we want to some other time. So I'm going to make a public key code here. This is going to be called interact key, which is going to by default equal to E. And instead of key code E, we're going to make this say interact key. Okay, so um, if we get our interact key down, it will do all this fun stuff. So that's cool. Okay. I'm saying it again. Okay, whatever. Weird. So, okay. Everything is still working. It, it should probably still look the same. But if we go to our player here and change this to like F. So F right there. You should see when we... Okay, it doesn't work. And that's because I'm being retarded. Um, in our update method, we want our interact text to equal to... Um, our so first we want to make it like this kind of square bracket and then we're gonna add our interact key and then we're gonna close off that square bracket and we're gonna add a space interact so that's what it oh right interact text that text I always do that I always forget to do that text okay so uh, now if we go over here you can see it says F to interact and when we hit F um, we do just that okay so something else that I wanted to do today was um, we could either do we could do bullet holes or physics stuff which is pretty cool uh, I just want to get some of this fun stuff out of the way so that we can move on to uh, the stuff that takes a while like the building system and the inventory system which inventory system will probably be started in the next episode so I died again uh, okay 
All right, so we're gonna get started with um, some cool physics stuff uh, with the weapon. So when we shoot an object that has a rigid body, it will um, apply force to that object. So in our weapons folder, uh, we're gonna go to our shooting system script. And inside of that, we're gonna find our uh, raycast uh, if statement here. And inside of that, we're gonna do if hit info dot rigid body is not equal to null. So what's happening here is we are actually checking um, to see if um, if the object that we hit has a rigid body. Up here, I do want to make a float uh, a float value here. So I want to do uh, hit power is equal to uh, what five. I don't know what is like good or not. So I'll just make it five by default for now. Okay. So down here in our if statement, where is it? Okay. Um, we're going to do hit info dot collider dot get component uh, get hash code get component rigid body and we're going to add force at position so transform dot transform direction so our transform um, vector three dot forward I'll explain what's happening here as I'm typing this out um, and then we're going to want to multiply this by our hit power and add and Black at hit info top point. Okay, so what's happening here in this long and confusing line is first of all, right here, we're actually just getting the rigid body. So that's already like 40% of it. Um, at force at position is um, we're just, well, we're adding force from our position, which is uh, our transform and our direction forward. And it's kind of like I guess multiplying it negatively, I guess you could kind of say. So it is pushing it based on where we hit it from. So it makes it kind of accurate and cool. So uh, we're multiplying that by our hit power and we're doing it from our uh, raycast point. So yeah, this should actually work right now. Let's test it out. Maybe the power isn't enough. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to make it like 200 because I think that is actually something like I think the values for you to be able to see that is goes that high. Like when you make a, a rigid body jump, like for a player controller, you have to make like your jump height um, multiplier like 500 or something. It's ridiculous. Um, OK, so let's shoot this. And that worked surprisingly. I wait. Why is it doing that? Okay. Um. It seems as though we also have a problem with our ammo system that I just detected. So we <laughs> we're adding our ammo up every time we hit R. Yeah, that's not good. I have to actually look into that. Okay. So. Let's try to multiply, or sorry, let's try to add to our um, our hit power. Am I missing it? Okay, so let's make it a thousand and see what happens. Okay, it's shooting upward, which is not what we wanted. For some reason, it's shooting upward. What the hell? Vector three to forward. Yeah, this looks right. Okay, I don't really know what's happening here. I'm probably missing it, like, so em embarrassingly. But is that the word? Okay, um, we'll look into that some other time. But we have a start for it. It is... Okay. Whoa. I should not have paused. Now I have to... Yeah, this is a problem. Thanks, Unity. Okay. So, I'm blaming Unity for my bad programming. Uh, when we shoot this, it goes up, not in the correct uh, direction that we want it to go. So, that's not... It's kind of working. I mean... Let me mute my audio. This is annoying. Okay. So, this is... um. It's not working 100%. I'd say we're like halfway there for the physics uh, shooting. It does move it a little bit to forward, I think, 
or maybe it's kind of doing that itself. Is that something to do with the rigid bodies? Are they like locked on, on some axis constraints? No, they're not. Okay. So, oops, okay. So, let's see. Hmm, transform. What would happen if we did local transform? You can't do that. Okay. So transform. Um, okay, I think we're going to leave it at that just for now. All right, so we'll pick up on this um, next episode where we'll actually figure out what the problem is. And I think right after that, we're just going to go straight into our inventory system because I think uh, we all want to get that out of the way. And that leads up to building system. And after the building system, I... I, I speculate a lot or foresee um with this series i i would say um this is going to happen when it doesn't something completely different happens but right now at the moment um after we complete the building system which is after the inventory um i think that's when we're going to start um some networking because what's rust without multiplayer so yeah we're going to do that so um, I think I'm going to leave it at that next episode. We're going to do that inventory. Um, it's going to be probably pretty simple, but it'll do. Um, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like. And if you have any problems or anything else you want to say, just leave it down in the comments, and I'll be sure to reply. I do reply to like most of my comments. Remember to subscribe, and have a good one.